Alright, I'm back on the homestead from my trip out of town. If you're following me on TikTok, you've seen uh, seen the latest, probably. Um, anyway, but I found this huge haul from an uh, old abandoned garage. And I'm going to go over it in detail because I can't do it on TikTok because there's way too much stuff. So, let's go in and check it out. I have made a complete and utter mess unboxing everything. But, to start off, we'll just go from one end to the other. I got a couple threaded rods, and I got a couple of these framing squares, and my neighbor said, Oh, you got framing squares? Don't have numbers on just like me. You'll want these things. So, these are little clamps that connect onto it that'll lock your position. Sorry, I'm not used to using the camera in this mode anymore. <laughs> there we go. So, you can screw them on there and... uh yeah, it works out really, really well. Other things we got, a bunch of uh, hand tools. Got this hammer, which is for use in uh, welding, from what I understand. Uh, screen spline tool. Just a, uh, I don't even know what you call that. You guys know. <laughs> it's a very basic, simple tool. Oh, just a trowel. Yeah, there we go, a masonry trowel. This is a debarker. This is a battery hold down kit. Way over here, for some reason I threw the uh, wire brush. This thing, I have absolutely no idea what it is. Test off and run. Starter and it's got a light. We got three wires. And they all have clamps. So either you guys will let me know in the comments what it is or I will, I will check it out. I have to Google something. Looks some, looks old, looks like it's an automotive tool. That's about, about all I got. What else do we have? This is some kind of, uh, some kind of tool for, what did I read on here? Tip cleaner. Calls it a tip cleaner. It's got all these really tiny, uh, I have no idea if you clean out like the tips of injectors on old vehicles or what. I am not a mechanic. I know nothing about that stuff. <laughs> well, then we got a bunch of hardware. I actually didn't open this fella up. Unpackaged most of the things because in that abandoned garage everything was just just in bad shape. But yeah, looks like it'll be be good for something there. Then the hardware. I'm not going at all over all of it in detail, but I got a lot of a lot of bolts. Alright, got these huge bolts. I don't think I have any nuts that ended up going with it. Um this I was really excited to get a whole container of different size nuts. That is just absolutely awesome. Forever running out of washers. These are pretty pretty rusty, but uh they'll do well. Got different uh Nail on anchors, and then I've got a bunch of different vehicle bolts, castle nut, random, random nest. Got these uh, anchors here, lag shields. I think they're, I don't know if they're lead, I don't remember. I think at one point they used to be lead, whether those are or not, I'm not sure. Actually, actually, I don't feel like lead. Well... They're not magnetic, but that doesn't mean they're lead either. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> random screws, more random screws. I think I showed all that. Got some, some locking washers. Got one of those. Hitch pins, U-bolt. These are welding rods. They're aluminum welding rods, and I have no idea what I'll do with them. I don't have a welder. I don't know how to weld aluminum. <laughs> so... Yeah. What else? And I got this whole this whole thing of wheel weights. I was really excited about that because lead has a low melting temperature and I want to build a forge sometime. And uh yeah, you can use lead for all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, no, more hardware. Got these cool nails. They were good for masonry stuff. Super excited to get all these. Cotter pins. Hose clamps. Speaking of which, I'm going to go back outside here and 
I got all these all these different pins too. They were really they were actually kind of wet, so I threw them out here to dry off. I'll have to. I got a lot of rust cleanup to do. These paper towel rolls were slightly damp, so they're out here in the sunshine, drying off. And I got this thing. This is kind of a cool. There wasn't very many toolboxes that were any good anymore, but since this one was aluminum and plastic, why? It was in good shape. More stuff. I got this this 12 volt low voltage light. This thing, some kind of uh, was it said an engine? I thought somewhere I read, yeah, engine heater. Um, so I'm assuming that's just a heating element. And it would have heated up the, uh, this would have gone in line with the coolant, I guess. Again, I'm not a mechanic. I got no idea, but just kind of what my, what my intuition tells me. That's what that would be for. Um, no idea what I'll do with that, but I'll definitely do something with that. That, that to me is really awesome. Um, I could heat water in line if it would flow slowly enough. Um... Yeah. Anyway, what else do we got? We move on to some more, even more exciting stuff. We got cast iron hinges. We got some surface rust on them. Hopefully, that's all we're. It's not too bad. I think they clean up okay. Obviously, never been used. Uh, what do they say? Acme on them. What's the other thing say? I can't quite make it out. Anyway, these, these pulleys, these are absolutely awesome. These are some of the most exciting things because we just forever want pulleys and ropes and never have them and never seem to have hinges. Got some of this stuff. I don't know if it's just like marking tape. People are forever just tying it around trees around here to mark different things. So I'm going to call it marking tape. <laughs> Padlock, little tool holders, right angle, uh clamps 90 degree clamps corner clamps oh what else more stuff got a heater looks like part of the cooling system for a uh, vehicle looks brand new never used radiator hose there we go got filters of some kind i don't know cartridge side i'm assuming they're for a respirator which i don't have and this should be a uh, just a little handheld pump that'll help you uh, if you need to siphon something. That'll help it get started. Very excited about this stuff too. I mean, this is, this is just awesome stuff. Jigsaw blades. This is a dado set. Whether it's compatible with my table saw or not, I don't know, but I bet it is. Might have to get or make a uh, a different blade guard, but that's. That's easy. I can do that. A couple of these uh, uh, metal wheels. Both for metal. Tons and tons of hacksaw blades. Don't really use a hacksaw for much, but uh, yeah, I, I got that's a huge amount of hacksaw blades. Valve tool. Oh, let me get up and walk over here. Got more stuff. Brand new uh, clamp set. This one's not even opened. Probably open it up, make sure it's not wet inside. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Very excited about that. I don't have any pipe, but pipes is, I think, the cheaper part, or at least used to be the cheaper part. All my trash here over here we got some chainsaw chains two of them got some pretty bad rust spots um they're brand new though i don't know if they fit my chainsaw i'm gonna kind of doubt it just kind of assume they don't um but we could definitely make like a hand chainsaw out of them particularly the ones that got like a bad spot um since it was there free for the taking Got it, funnel, coffee cans. I got all this sandpaper, which I'm super excited about. I have no idea what tool uses it. Um, 
I'm not seeing like the what they call bolt on paper, but I can use it as hand sandpaper or most of it's really really coarse. There is some fine 280 280 grit, very few pieces of it. Most of it I believe is wow 40. That's really coarse. We got 40. I saw 80. I'm sure there's 60 in here. I'm gonna get all that flattened out. But that's that's a really huge find. Really huge find. Um, just a couple plumbing parts. And here we go, over here. That's a wiring. These things I got, you remember seeing all my, my rusty hardware and everything. This is rust dissolver. Don't know anything about it. I'm going to read about it, maybe try some of it. It might be a gimmick. There may be a whole lot better ways to uh, remove rust. But that's okay. Got brand new containers of high temp grease. Disc brake, wheel bearing. I've also got the uh, got the uh, cans for the grease gun too. There was a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff I left there, but I got the brand new stuff that wasn't totally like blown apart or dissolved. Canon WD-40, jack oil. No idea what tire seal is. I'll seal R. Let me. Looks like a puncture proof tire. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Whew, smells terrible. Anyway, I haven't tried out all the paint cans, but again, I got the ones that didn't look really rough and I made sure they had lids on them. Um, folks, I think, think the guy was a Ford guy. Um, just guessing. Starter fluid. Something for cleaning rubber. Obviously used for tires. I don't know why I brought the can of great stuff with me. I almost guarantee that thing is not any good. Brake parts and cleaner. Carb cleaner. Super flush for radiators. Um, things still sealed. I got some 12 volt flashers. I don't know if I have any vehicles that they're compatible in, but I got them. And got condensers which I'm not even totally sure what application they're for if it's like an old but I got I got information I can look them up contact points don't really know what they're for this stuff's probably just before my time or I just don't know anything about vehicles this to me looks like some kind of injector or injector tip um, absolutely no idea what it goes to but brand new. And I've got a couple of these. They call them a dimmer switch. At least according to the box it was in. It just, uh, I took this one apart and it alternates the contact points between these two. Um, and this is always, well, it's mostly always connected. It actually would have a quick disconnect before it would connect to the other side. So I'm guessing one would be low voltage and high voltage. Be how that works. I'm gonna open the other one up just to see. Is that? Oh yeah, same, same thing. Yep, same thing. Cool. And we are almost done. Uh, I don't remember. It's been so long on this. I don't remember if I went over this. This is a. Uh, Magnet for holding pieces to weld at like a uh, like a 90 degree from what I understand What all the commenters tell me over on TikTok. And I got this Ford emblem Oh cool, it's got info on the back <laughs> You guys are discovering stuff with me Doesn't really tell me anything, but it's a number I could probably look up find out what vehicle it goes to And I've got these older I mean, I don't know if they're older or not. They look older. They just... They look like an old style. I feel like aluminum or something. These are... Eh. Whatever they are, they're not steel. Anyway. Got that. This might be a clue what some of the things went to. Got the Cougar. Got a Thunderbird. So these may be Thunderbird letters or Cougar letters. I don't know. But... That is it. What a pile. 
Lots of stuff. I got so much stuff to put away now. So that's what I'm going to spend some time doing, putting stuff away, figuring out what I'm doing with stuff. But it is also a really, really beautiful day out here. So I'll probably do some of that pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, get back to doing some outside stuff here because it's gorgeous. But thanks for watching. If you know what something is that I didn't know what it was or if I misidentified something, well, definitely drop me a comment. Let me know. I'll have to Google a few things probably and then I'll have to figure out if some of these things are even useful for me. If you guys got ideas, let me know. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button.